Hi, I'm Kelsey Murchie. I'm a PhD student in the biology department at the University of Victoria, a part of the Francis Juanes lab, and I am researching the impacts of shipping noise on Chinook salmon behavior and physiology. Well, I guess Chinook salmon are just, they're just really important to the entire ecosystem as a whole, not only the aquatic ecosystem, but also the terrestrial. So when they move up river to spawn, they introduce nutrients and stuff to the terrestrial environment through consumption by terrestrial predators like our bears and wolves. So we think these like arches um, are kind of the rough signature of salmon. These are the acoustic tags uh, that we put um, into the Chinook and it gives off a series of signals that then we can decode with our um, hydrophone here that we just put in the water. We're actually listening for some of the acoustically tagged fish that we um, put in the bay. The acoustic tag will either give us depth or acceleration data as well, so we can see where the fish is as well as how fast it's going. Um, let's switch to the directional. So we have two hydrophones here that we use. Um, so the omnidirectional can kind of it can detect all around it. Then we use this directional um, hydrophone, which is attached to this pole here. All right, so this was a fish we tagged yesterday. Yes, he's going 1.3 meters per second squared. As major contributors in the field of marine ecology, UVic is raising awareness and engaging the local community on the impacts of human activities on various ecosystems around Vancouver Island. Through studying underwater acoustics in the local marine habitats, the Juanes Lab is evaluating changes to the Salish Sea in an attempt to better conserve our important ecosystems.